There is a phrase that stuck with me over most of my 24 years of, of leading North Group. And I've used it as a bit of a guiding principle, I guess, as we made decisions as we move forward in the organization over the years. And the phrase is pretty simple. It's take your own medicine. So I think about it this way. Uh, I, I, for one, I don't know about you, but I like to go to a doctor who has healthy physical practices. If I go to a pastor or a counselor, I'd like to know that they have healthy spiritual and relational practices. If I go to a golf instructor, I'd like to know that he or she can play the game pretty well and guide me through the steps to get better. And I think accordingly, most of you would like to uh, engage with a leadership development and organizational development firm that runs its own business really well. And that's who we want to be. The most common inquiry we get these days at North Group is an inquiry about how to do generational transition well. It comes basically in three different forms. One would be family-owned firms who would like to transition well from one generation to another privately owned firms that would like to perpetuate internally, uh, or not-for-profit firms who need to continue their legacy, their service to the community through a new generation of leaders. That's the most common inquiry we get here at North Group. And dealing with those issues, we want to have a basis from which to operate in our own organization. We want to do generational transition here at North Group really well. Over the years, I've always had partners. There's never been a time uh, over my 24 years when I have not had partners, and I have had the privilege of working with a terrific group of partners uh, com as a complete team over the last six and a half years, including my good friends Daryl Lisey, who joined me here at North Group in 2003, Jerry Murray, who joined me in 2009, Craig Schleiniger, who joined me in 2012, and Brian Black, who joined me in 2014. And we feel like we have worked really well together. We've had our moments of disagreement. We've had our moments of uh, you know, getting upset with each other. But overall, uh, we've really worked hard at this issue of leadership cohesion. And we want to do that because we want to communicate well to our organization. We want to present well to our clients. And we want to give you, our clients and community, full value by leading well here at North Group. And so we get to this point where we say, hey, do we think that North Group should somehow go beyond its current leadership? And our answer to that is clearly yes. That, that matters a lot to me. I want our legacy to go well beyond the leadership and tenure of Roger North. So we're planning very proactively for that to happen. So I'm pleased to tell you that we have invited two new shareholders into our firm and these are the highest quality of people. You already know that because they're your friends. If you get a chance, please congratulate Gina Breslin. Gina joined uh, us here at North Group in 2010 and became a North Group shareholder here in 2020. And please also, if you have an opportunity, congratulate everybody's best friend, Josh Kiefer, who joined us in 2017 and also became a shareholder in 2020. Josh and Gina will both be taking on very significant roles in the leadership of North Group as we move into the next generation of leadership. And speaking of the next generation of leadership, I and my partners have unanimously selected Jerry Murray to be the next president of North Group. Jerry is a very good friend of mine. He has every uh, bit of confidence that I could give him in many ways. He is a more gifted leader than I will have been, uh, and I have every confidence that Jerry will lead our organization well going into the future. He's going to take on responsibility for our consulting, operational, and financial matters here at North Group, and in doing so, he's going to be joined by a new leadership team. And on that leadership team will be four familiar faces to serve with Jerry. That'd be Daryl, Craig, Gina, and Josh. And they'll take on their responsibilities effective January 1st, 2021. So a few of you might, asking, might be asking, is Roger retiring? Well, the answer is no. I have too much, uh, I don't know, energy 
passion. I still love this business. It is so much fun to have the opportunity to uh, uh, be in your leadership team meetings, to, to, to be sitting with high potential leaders and helping them grow, helping organizations develop, become successful, make our community a better place to live. I'm still excited about that. So I'm going to continue uh, in my consulting activities. I'm taking on the august role of CEO, for whatever that matters, and in that role I'll continue to be responsible for our mission alignment, our, our values uh, alignment, and our cultural integrity here at North Group, and I'll also continue to be uh, overseeing our, our business development efforts. So I'm really pleased to share these transitional issues with you today. And to go back to my original theme, we want to be taking our own medicine. You want to be dealing with a consulting firm that does its own business really well and can draw on its own experience in helping you transition well to the next generation. It's really, really important to me that the uh, mission and legacy of North Group go well beyond the tenure of Roger North. And while that tenure is not over yet, it is time for us to move to the next generation of leadership. And in that, we're taking our own medicine.